Bradford's been this kind of sleeping giant that's gone forgotten. It was founded in 1948 by a guy called Harold Radford. Since then, Radford's built a number of really cool cars. And at the hands of some new custodians, we're revitalizing the brand. Radford have linked up with Lotus. They also have a really cool history. Lotus was founded in 1948 as well, so it's weird that Radford and Lotus are the same age. We agreed to do this collaboration. We started to look at the back catalogue of Lotus that have existed to try and get inspiration. What were we going to do? We had to translate this old design onto a new platform. And as a coach builder, we want to offer as much customization as possible. And we're not just about customizing the paint or the material, we're all about surface change. So we create a 3D model and we reprint that part. If you want to know how much impact 3D printed parts has had on the two Radford prototypes, between both cars, they have around 500 3D printed parts. At Radford, they get down to sit with our design team and actually co-create and redesign and create the car that they really want. And that's where 3D printing has been you know, fantastic and really brought us back to where coach building was 100 years ago. Now this is the Radford Dash. This is an ASA material from the Stratus's F900 machine. Now ultimately this is going to be wrapped in leather. So when you consider creating this from scratch, <laughs> as a car builder that would have been really, really difficult. But partnering with a 3D printing company, I get to do other stuff while this gets made for me. We have printers on the shop floor, which is, I mean, that's the dream, right? I can create something in 3D, send it to the printer here, pull it straight off later that day, and we can just drop them on the car straight away. And look at the detail that's needed to make this panel work. Now, a customer can hypothetically walk in, change that detail, and we can create a unique part, like a door card, that suits our customer. We get that one-off experience, and we have the ability to do that at the press of the button. There were some moments in the project where we didn't have enough printers, even if we're in the full capacity, they wouldn't actually print enough parts in the time frame that we had. And we put all our faith into Stratasys Direct to basically create those extra parts in the short time frame that we had left. Stratasys has also provided us with additional technologies. We've used FDM and SLA, for example, the rear light on our car. Now this is nylon 12 carbon fiber filled. This is a jig that's built to be durable. We need this twice to locate and drill the hole for us to put the front clam latches down. See, Stratasys don't just provide components for the car, they provide us jigs to make it. It's great to have that aspect of Stratasys to be able to control our overflow. The way I look at it is that those printers should be running as long as possible, you know, ideally 24-7. GrabCAD shop allows us to basically upload parts and efficiently have everything in one place. And then we're able to manage the print process and making sure we've got an efficient way of keeping track of all of those orders and everything that's going to the printer. Radford's integration into GrabCAD shop also allowed us to work remotely at five locations all over the world. That software joined us, it connected us together. Stratasys have been able to support us, not only just the machines here as well, and the knowledge and expertise that they brought to the table, and be able to guide us through the right paths of this in such a short window. Relaunching an iconic brand like Radford, we set our stall out to only work with world-class companies. Lotus is a world-class company. Radford is a world-class company. So when we looked at 3D printed parts, we looked at a world-class company. We looked at Stratasys. If I partner with anybody, I just want to try and find the best and work with the best, and that's how we become the best at what we do. Quite honestly, we wouldn't have the car we've got today without Stratasys involved.